How to be a good facilitator. Whether you're facilitating life skills, sprint, or any other workshop, it's important to be a good facilitator. Now, most exercises are divided into three phases. In the explain phase, it's important that you are very clear in your instructions, including roles and time. What is the task? Who does what and when? When should they be back? Also, make sure that all materials are ready and available. In the carry out phase of whatever exercise it may be, make sure that you are visible and available for questions and support. Don't look over people's shoulders, but check in once in a while to make sure they're on track. The most complex phase is the discussion. The most important thing to remember here is that as a facilitator, you are not a teacher. Your job is not to lecture people and it's not to tell them what to think. Instead, your job is to facilitate a space where people can safely exchange different views, feelings, opinions and experiences. Therefore, the primary purpose of the facilitator is to ensure that everyone participates, even the quiet ones, and that no one dominates the discussion. That takes practice, but here are a few tips. Think about your questions. Ask questions that foster discussion and active participation. This can be open questions such as, how would you act in this situation? Or what do you think of this statement? It can also be closed questions followed up by elaboration such as, have you ever been in this situation yourself? Yes. Would you like to explain what happened? How did it feel? How did you act? Don't ask too many questions. As long as participants are actively debating a question, there's no need to ask a new one. Intentional silence. When you ask your questions, make sure to give the participants some time to think about their answer. I know it can be uncomfortable to stand there in front of everyone when no one is speaking, but it's important to do it because often people need some time to process before answering your question. Therefore, also, when people start raising their hands, you should not always pick the first ones, because then you'll have the same three or four people speaking throughout the session. Practice your intentional silence skills and give the rest of the participants some time to contribute. One too many. When discussing sensitive or difficult subjects, it can be a good idea to let people prepare before engaging in a large discussion. You can, for example, Give them one minute alone to think about a question and draw or write down their thoughts. Or you can give them two minutes to discuss two and two before starting the larger discussion. This will normally make it easier for people to participate actively, especially for the quiet ones. There are a number of other facilitation tools you can use. Paraphrasing. Mirroring. Encouraging. Validating. Summarizing. You can find all the different facilitation tools in the DRCY Life Skills Manual. To sum up, in the discussion phase, think about your questions, practice intentional silence, give people some time to prepare using the one too many, and use the other facilitation tools actively. That will make you a great facilitator.